I have to keep my voice down because I live in my mum's house and she's done something really annoying. She's hung her dresses to dry on the door and I can't really take them off the door. I can but I'll hear about it and, then, and when she wakes up she'll start complaining about me taking her dresses off the door. And there's all these things, there's like plug sockets behind those boxes. It's hard to get to. I hate living in my mum's house and as you know, I am really good. I'm a master at manifesting things. Like I've said, I've manifested being at the same place at the same time as people. I've manifested the front cover of a newspaper. You know all the things from my previous video that I've manifested. And my manifestation goal is to win the lottery. And it's not manifested. And it's hard for me to stay focused on manifesting winning the lottery because I keep having the flow, the momentum, interrupted by worrying about money in the 3D reality. Like appointments to do with money, lack of money. And I have a storage unit that I have to pay rent on. And that keeps going up. And that takes a lot of my money. And the date of my storage unit rent keeps getting pushed forward as well. Like forward and my storage unit rent is, I mean, when I get money is at the end of the month. And my storage unit rent date is just getting like earlier and earlier and I'm getting late fees. So this is one of the reasons why I'm struggling manifesting money. Also, I'm having a battle in my mind at the moment of I'm trying to understand what reality is, why I'm here. Because I'm a human being on planet Earth. I was sent here for a reason. If you watched my previous video, you know about my strong belief that I was sent here to do something about the evil on this earth because there's a lot of evil on this earth there's a war going on the war is good versus evil and evil is winning and just to give you some bullet points just some quick bullet points of evil things that have happened in my life I have had evil straight males grab their penis in front of me masturbate in front of me urinate in front of me and walk down the streets with their hands down the trousers in public in front of me and I've reported it to the police but I've stopped doing that because the police don't do anything about it there was this occasion, there's lots of occasions but I'll tell you about this occasion there was an evil straight male who he was wearing shorts and he put his hand inside his shorts and had a few tugs of his penis in front of me and what makes this even worse is he was with a little girl who I assume is his daughter. He was walking with a little girl. I saw once a car drive past and it had an evil straight male in the car and there was this feminine, like girly girl standing next to me. We were at the traffic lights when this car drove past and I could see a car seat in the man's car so obviously the man had a child like a young child for him to have a car seat uh, like a baby seat and he looked at this girl and he did this like winking it's disgusting disgusting behavior there's a lot of evil things that are going on in this world there's children starving and they don't need to nobody needs to starve no human being on planet earth needs to starve in this world there's enough money enough resources there's lottery jackpots that are like 50 million and 100 million and there's like celebrities getting paid millions and like football players getting paid millions and there's human beings starving on this earth and what needs to happen is instead of all this if people talk about the economy that's man-made human beings need to work together Okay, so I have a really strong calling that I was sent to planet Earth to do things about this evil. But I can't do that even if I do make YouTube videos talking about these kinds of topics. 
the most I can do is raise awareness about what's, what goes on. And if Christianity is the truth, then I really believe that I was, cho I was chosen, I was sent here to earth to make this evil earth good. But if I'm wrong about that and Christianity is not the truth and the law of attraction is the truth, then I could be attracting all these bad situations, like for example the bad situations with evil straight males, I could be the reason that that is happening because of my strong beliefs about evil straight males. There's a lot of confusion with this because with the law of attraction they would say like experts at, like who have knowledge like Abraham Hicks for example who have knowledge about the law of attraction would say you have like one bad experience happening but it's in your subconscious mind and then that's why you keep attracting the same situations or the similar, similar situations over and over and over and over again. So I've said this, there's three possibilities. One, it's the human being that is evil. Two, Christianity is the truth and Satan is working through these evil human beings. Like for example, if you get bullied by, by a human being, that's not necessarily the human being that is actually bullying you. It is the, like Satan or another negative spirit working through that human being, influencing that human being. And then there's a third option. I'm responsible for all this evil and to change your life, change your thoughts. And in, I need to stop focusing on the evil that goes on in this earth on this earth and instead try and be happy and focus on I have won the lottery manifest affirm I have won the lottery and just stay as focused as possible and I really 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 feel bad because I really strongly believe that I'm sent here to do something about this and if I just forget about, like, don't think, just ignore the evil things that go on on planet Earth. If I just ignore it and Christianity is the truth, then I'm not doing my job that God sent me here to do. And I feel really terrible about that. But like I said, there's nothing I can do. The truth is, in order for this world to be a good place the evil human beings need to change themselves and they're not going to a lot of them are just too evil it is possible for evil human beings to change i'll give some examples um, on the oprah winfrey show there was this nazi this racist man he was really racist and he he ended up coming back on the oprah winfrey show like years later, I don't know how long later, but years later, and he changed his ways, and he's not racist anymore. So it is possible to change, but it's very unlikely. It would be like 1% of evil human beings actually becoming good, and me speaking out, and it's, it wouldn't change them. If an evil human being watched a video of me talking about the evil that goes on in this world, at most it would raise awareness when people watch these videos. I'm really struggling in life and I need to know the truth about what's going on in this world. I'm trying to understand my own reality. There's other theories other than Christianity and the law of attraction. There's something called solipsism, that I'm the only person who exists, that this world, this reality isn't real, basically, that I'm the only conscious mind. There's different theories, and I really need to win the lottery, but that would mean 
me just ignoring the evil that goes on in this world and then I would feel really terrible to God for not doing something about it. I would feel really terrible not doing something to change this world for the better. But my situation in life right now, my financial situation in life, the situations with evil straight males going back to that, it's a lot better than it was years ago. But it still affects me mentally. It still happens, but not very often. But it plays on my mind. The situation has happened and it's gone. But it's still there in my mind, causing me upset. It's like mentally scarred me. It's caused me mental health damage. These situations. Um, there's lots of situations that have happened to me. I was walking to the Chinese takeaway once to get something for my tea, something for my dinner. And there was this evil straight male with this straight female, this stupid straight female and he had his right hand down the front of his trousers and his left hand down the back of her trousers and he turned to face me and he gave me this really 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 evil grin this really evil smirk because he knew what he was doing and it was getting it was affecting me he knew it I didn't like it and he was getting away with it and he was evil and the look on his face was evil the look that he gave me so there's lots of things like this um, Joyce Meyer I'm, I've mentioned um, she's a Christian teacher um, on YouTube I watch a lot of Joyce Meyer videos I've learned a lot from her and she was sexually abused by I think it was her father it was either her father or her stepfather um, and there was this documentary that I watched once and this female was talking about how her dad she was a young child, like a little girl and her dad used to masturbate in front of her and ejaculate on her, cum on her these things, these stories sicken me and I want it to stop and I really feel that I have to do something about it. But I can't do anything about it. This is what chosen ones and star seeds and light workers and people like that, spiritually awake people, we're supposed to do something about it to change this world for the better. Um, but at the same time I have a very bad financial situation going on and I need to focus on winning the lottery but if I focus on winning the lottery manifesting a lottery jackpot win of one million pounds which will buy me my own house I'll be able to buy my own house and get out of my mum's house because I'm really unhappy living in my mum's house I would be turning away from the spiritual job that I'm supposed to do and this world would continue being evil but at the same time like I said I don't think I can do anything about this this world is evil because there's a lot of evil human beings on this earth so there's a lot more I can say about this there's lots and lots and lots of things um, but I'm gonna stop this video here but yeah, I don't know what to do. Because I don't like the financial situation that I'm in. It is a mess. It is really serious. And I keep having to have appointments that I don't want to go to. And I keep having things that I don't want to do. And I'm not enjoying my life on earth. I've had a really, really, really bad life experience except for my childhood, my childhood was good up until I would say like 10 years old, 11 years old um, but yeah, it's really really a struggle for me in my mind
I need to focus on winning the lottery. And it's really difficult for me to do that because I keep focusing on the evil things that are going on in this world. There's, in England and other countries probably, there's a situation with migrants at the moment and a lot of people are against migrants in England, I'll give an example because I live in England and there's a lot of violence towards human beings that have migrated from other countries but if you think about it, if you were in their country that has a lot of bad things happening worse than England, I'm talking about the bad things that happen in Eng England like with evil straight males but it's worse in other countries um, like the Middle East for example, how females are treated is extremely bad compared to England and America um, but yeah if you were in the country that the migrants are from and it has lots of violence and things you would want to do you would do the exact same thing you would want to escape you would come to America you would come to England countries that are better and to use England as an example a lot of the reasons that people say why they don't like migrants is because they think that the migrants are taking advantage of the NHS system, the free medical system, which by the way, I just want to add this point, we're very lucky in England to have the NHS, but the NHS is not as good as people think. I've been let down by the NHS system. I've got health things myself going on. And I've had a doctor, an NHS doctor, who has caused me to have liver damage. Doctors are supposed to heal human beings, but I've been harmed by a doctor. But um, I've got other health things and the doctors have done nothing about it. Um, I have a lump in the left side of my neck and it's probably nothing. But if you have a lump in the side of your neck, you should get it checked out. And I drink a lot of alcohol, of course, so it should be checked just to make sure that my neck's okay. I, I hope it is, and I think it is, and I you know, don't want to affirm anything negative about it. But this same doctor, I won't say her name, even though I really want to name and shame her. She said, I told her about the lump, and I've told other doctors, but this doctor in particular who caused me liver damage, when I said about I want a scan to check the lump on the left side of my neck she said why would we do that? this is her, she was rude to me from the first time I spoke to her on the phone but yeah back to the migrant thing um, it, there's lots of things that you just need to deep, think deeply and use your brain okay first of all if you were in their position you would do exactly the same thing, you would escape your country and go to a better country, so that's the first thing. The second thing is that if it is true, like if they, lots of people say that the majority of people, they use the word foreigner to describe migrants and they say that the majority of people who are in the doctors, the NHS doctors are migrants and they say really negative things like they just want it for free medical care well if you really do some deep thinking about it if they didn't have medical care in their country of course they're going to get poorly they're going to get ill and then when they do escape their country of course they're going to go to the doctors and it just happens to be free the NHS in England and they want to repair their body, they're doing what they can to save their life and to heal themselves, like to look after their health. So if they live in a country where they don't have access to medical care, then of course they're going to access medical care when they escape their country and come to England. I just wish people would use their brain. So this was on the front cover of the newspaper. Um, the other day there's a lot of violence and you have to just put yourself in their shoes 
but it's horrible, the suffering that human beings go go through. And also, the, like I said, there's lots of things that are upsetting me mentally at the moment. I'm a meat eater, I'm not a vegetarian, I'm not a vegan, but I'm struggling with that at the moment as well because I met a vegetarian and she like introduced me to meant to um vegetarianism like she's a vegetarian I'm a meat eater and I still eat meat but I'm really struggling with this because the same thing goes for cows imagine put yourself in the position of a cow it makes it easier to kill cows and things like that cows pigs chickens because they can't talk they can't speak English imagine if they could speak English and so I'm really struggling with that because they suffer a lot. I found out a lot. Like at first I thought, using cows for an example, I thought they died humanely and they didn't feel pain, but it turns out that some of them are still conscious through the killing process. It's disgusting. It's murder. And it's bullying. Human beings are bullying a vulnerable animal and it's really stupidity like on humans when you think about it you just have to use your brain imagine you went to a supermarket and there was like an advert try this new burger it's made out of dog meat it's made out of cat meat you would be disgusted that people are killing dogs and cats and yet you're fine with people killing cows and pigs and chickens, it's disgusting. And it's something that I struggle with because like I said, I'm not a vegetarian, I'm not a vegan, but I am spiritually awake and I have empathy and I'm a caring, good, kind human being. And I don't think it's right at all for animals to be killed. I don't. And they're taking advantage, they're bullying it's vulnerable animals. Cows, pigs, chickens are vulnerable animals, meaning that they can't defend themselves. Like other animals, for example, imagine a farmer doing the same thing that they do with cows, with a tiger, with a lion, with an alligator. It would be more difficult. So think about it, it's bullying. And even, like, eggs that chickens lay, that's rape. Because these chickens, they have to give birth to these eggs. They're forced to have sex, probably. I haven't done research into this, what I'm saying now, about chickens being raped to lay eggs, but I would assume that's true. Because they have to reproduce and lay eggs. And then they get their eggs taken away from them, which is like a human being getting a child taken away from them. Think about it. This is the thing that I feel very strong purpose that I have to do something about this. <clears throat> so yeah. Um, but I need my financial situation sorted out. And I can't do anything about this. Evil will continue to go on because this is an evil earth. But people just need to think about this sort of stuff. So yep, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching.